Order to fire. I just stand by. Stand by. Fox 2. My dad had been in the Navy, and uh, I had seen a lot of the pictures of him uh, in his naval uniform and had found his naval hat, his Navy hat, dress hat in the attic and played around with it. So I applied to the Naval Academy because uh, actually on a whim, they expose you to everything in the Navy from submarines to, to airplanes to ships and I always liked the sea and the ocean and so it started adding up. The summer prior to my sophomore year, I was exposed to aircraft carriers and airplanes flying on and off of aircraft carriers and that was just the coolest thing to me. The instructors that were there, really, really very talented leaders and that drew me to the Marine Corps. Probably my sophomore year, I had like a 201 <laughs> average. Uh, and one Christmas break, I was home and my dad being a very successful businessman in industry, he got kind of ugly with me. So I went back to school and I was gonna show him. So I got four O's. I ended up getting on the superintendent's list and staying on there for the rest of the time there. You have anchors on your lapels and right above the anchors, if you're on the superintendent's list, you have stars there and I still have those stars in a tiny little frame that I keep in my office. Every office I've had right above my light switch to remind me that I'm the world's biggest underachiever. <laughs> I did 28 years in the Marine Corps, flew for about 20, uh, 20 21 of those and then spent uh, almost eight years in a administrative or acquisition jobs in the Pentagon or around Washington, D.C. And through those times, I realized that my passion was leading, not to be in charge, but you could be in charge of the development of these younger, often younger or less experienced folks, and to watch them develop into uh, very secure and, and contributing adults was just very, very rewarding. It's service before self. You're in a position where you might have to die for your brothers or sisters. You didn't think that much about uh, saving your own skin. After retiring from the Marine Corps, Boeing offered me a job. I ended up in the V-22 program, the V-22 Ospreys. And we had about a thousand folks working on that and I had the ability to try and sway that culture to get, uh, not only make the company money, but also to just really have people feel like they were proud to be on the team. My son uh, got into hockey when he was six. I got into coaching and then followed his team as a coach all the way through high school. I've been coaching youth sports for 35 years, and it was one to develop kids, but also to give them that skill set of really putting the team before self. I think that's a huge life lesson. It's back to that addiction to just really wanting to be around people and help them grow. You gain so much by traveling the world. You gain so much by making do out in the desert when you're in a survival situation. These are things that uh, just give you so much self-confidence. You really feel like that you can do anything that's thrown at you and you can just overcome any obstacle. There's just so much world out there and so much to see and, and experience. I took off, it was about 9 o'clock at night, 45 seconds, 30 seconds into the flight. One of my parachute flares had ignited on the wing. It was still sitting on the airplane and it ignited for some reason, which immediately burned through the wing and caught the fuel cell on fire and the left wing blew off. So now I'm in a very uh, tight inverted spiral, so I'm upside down, the airplane's doing this, or what's left of the airplane, hanging off the seat, fire all over the place. and. Uh, so of course we had to jump out, uh, so we both ended up in parachutes and the airplane hit the ground in the backyard of a small farmhouse. And the woman who owned the farmhouse had literally had just pulled in the driveway in her pickup truck and her backyard exploded the airplane and about 20 seconds later I landed three feet from her. I literally landed right next to her. And uh, she, I scared the garbage out of her. She, she was pretty upset.